Okay, thanks for your time, Steve. It's 11.30 here on Saturday. My hope is that um, if you're not able to attend this teleconference, that the other people on this planning committee will review what went on yesterday and at the previous teleconferences. So we're mm -hmm. still back on the we're still back on the using GoToMeeting because we had difficulties getting the IEEE WebEx going last week. So, and that gentleman asked, was very helpful, but he also asked that we not do it this week because he has uh, family care issues. So I said it was fine with me, but I, I do. I would like us to get good at that WebEx service because I can't continue uh, two meetings a week like this. Not, mm -hmm. not that I don't have the time, but just that I'm, I'm the I, I'm the what I would call the single point of failure, and mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm not doing it, <laughs> it's uh, so anyway. My I know, so we'll we'll be able to use the IEEE once we get it rolling. And there were some administrative problems I think on their end. I think they have to resolve. So that it wasn't our fault. I think explicitly, I think it was the IEEE system. So that's kind of it. I'm going to be in Vancouver. Um, okay. I, we we have a website now. Uh, where's our website? Um, where's our website? We should have it. It is. Uh, nope. That's, that's this is my new. Just to let you know, this is my my website at U of M. Uh, mm -hmm. I have several of them, but. Um, let's see. My hope is I can get a website here. So where is our website? Our website should be. Um, and let me go back to. Obviously, you see where I'm still struggling. I want to get the website so it's easy to see. So let's see. Let me, let me put it right up front here. Here we here we go. All right, this is our website, and I think I invited Mr. Lytle got me started I give him credit I think David Mills mm -hmm. has been the web webmaster up to up to right now he was using the old style this is a WordPress template mm -hmm. and you, you can see the differences in you know you basically see the differences in how it's laid out this is the more modern and contemporary one so mm -hmm. I would I would I would really like some backup uh, on this one also uh, as far as we can start out just by doing content, but one of the questions I have is this is a this is a conference specific website. It's dealing with an event. And my question is, and I'm gonna pose it here, shouldn't this conference have a permanent website? Is this okay as a permanent website for all the things that are happening in between the conferences? You mean um, this wouldn't be the registration website you're talking about? This, this, this will be the, to the, cop, the committee. This is intended to be the registration website. In fact, oh, it is. Okay. I, yeah, I can't answer that question. I mean, um, that had to be for the um, IEEE conference committee, wouldn't it? I mean, uh, if they if they think it's acceptable, I, I have definitely no issue, but. Okay, so we, no, I wouldn't know that though. Let's get that. Let's get that clear. Then I'm going to put that on here. Our new website should be set up to be our. Our new website should be our. Uh, let me make sure that somebody's trying not trying to get in. This is the recurring go to meeting conference. So uh, our new website, our new website, which should be right here, our new web, our new website should be our registration website. So that's an important distinction. That would be something, you know, they have the uh, uh, the meeting for, well, I don't know, they wouldn't have it here though, would they? This is IES conference. Well, the one that I'm going yeah. to tomorrow is, this is a, um, this is, a, see if I can get that in a, in a red, it may not let me do red. Um, okay, so I'll put it in bold. I think it'll let me put it in bold. It's a template that restricts some of my choices. So, okay, mm -hmm. should be our, and I'll just say right. <laughs> um, right. So we will need, so we will need uh, a link to the place uh, 
to the site to the site where to the site where registration is normally handled. So I don't know what that is, but I think um, yeah, that, that sounds right. There is usually a link to registration. That that's correct. Okay. I guess I can I can't see a reason why that wouldn't be. It was for all the we others. All the, all the others. Yeah. If I go over to our past... Oh, good. We have somebody else on the line. Excellent. Uh, Moylan just showing up. Hey, Bill. How are you today? Uh, doing pretty well. Yeah, good morning, Bill. Good. Oh, morning, Steve. Yeah. We were just looking for the link. Now, now that we have our own website, which is right here, no, now we need a link this this should be the registration website and our previous experience has been that our previous experience has been that when you click a registration link that that it takes you to another place that the IEEE sets up if I'm not mistaken is that correct uh, usually yeah. So some, I'm, I'm not sure if it's the IEEE sets it up or uh, the local committee has set it up. Okay. Well, the local committee, which is us, that we have to, our, our experience, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go back to the previous, to, to, uh, I'm going to go to our previous sites for the previous, tele, uh, for the previous conferences, and if we go to, say, Fort Worth, for example, there, there was a site, um, Where's the Where's the Fort Worth link? You it took you to a place where just there's a tab that says register. It it it, it just says register and then let's go to Stone Mountain. Is it still there? Um, let me go back to our site here. So that that that's our that's our question is that how do we how do we get that set? To whom do we go? To get to get that set up, who would who would I helps us get people to get people to pay? Okay, well, had you you know Jim's on his way to Vancouver. I assume he could set some of the questions he could ask. Okay, <coughs> he told me for when he and I had discussions yesterday on the phone. Hey, uh, hey. when okay. I'm just going to say, but what what committee uh, meeting does that is would be best addressed to that? Is that the future conference committee, or is that? Uh, you mean address this with? We, well, to ask this question, I mean, um, I know there's a committee that deals with conferences, um, and I guess the future um, the future uh, committee meeting, right? I can't remember the official name of it. Because there's got to be a name to the contact on this uh, web stuff. Well, we know that David Mills was doing the was doing the website in the past, and he wasn't able to help. And then Linda, mm -hmm. then it was uh, Scott Lytle for the Southeastern Michigan, who got me in touch with the people at IEEE, who could help me set up our, our website. So it is it is an official website because of the URL among other reasons. So Okay, so I guess we're good then. Okay, so we so I'm, I'm you can see me writing this email. So we have uh, yeah. an official uh, IEEE website now. Web, web website and it's right here. So how do we get registration to whom with to whom do we speak? To whom, to uh, with, to whom, uh, who do we work with to get the, who do we work with to get the link to the registration, to the registration uh, process? You know, if you get this set up early enough, you're going to be able to get what will happen is people signing in for the 
2015 are going to end up registering for ours instead. Oh, no. Well, at the rate we're going, it just strikes me that we won't run into danger with that. So I think what you're saying is don't go too fast, but that doesn't mean we're not going to be bumping up, at least in my estimation, uh, you know, I could be wrong, that we'll, we'll have to guard for that. How about, how about that? How about how, guard for that? So if, if we go over that, I mean, you, raise, you raise a good point, because if we go to, if we go to the Vancouver, here's the Calgary... Here's a Calvary conference, and so if we go there, um, here's a registration page right here. Right. Okay, so there's two parts of the registration process. So methods, so please check back early for links. Okay, so this is the part here that we have to get going here. So all I'm trying to do, Bill, is to find out what the key dates are. It looks to me like for the conference for the conference in 2015 that there's roughly a month. There's a, the, the, they they give you an incentive here to register mm -hmm. uh, register early. So this is Sounds just, about right. Yeah. yeah, and so this this might be a, an important link to get. So what they're what they're driving at here is that is that now. Um, Please check early 2015 for links to the conference. So they'll probably get that fired up. They'll probably get that fired up. You know, say just after the year, obviously. So, but this is this is the thing that we need next. At least to know that. And I'm not trying to put it up there, Bill. I just want to know when it has to happen. So we know it has. It would. It could. It could start to happen as early as. Um, it could happen as early as uh, just after the uh, the, two, the the Calgary conference, but that's probably a little bit too early. I just want to know mm -hmm. ahead of time when 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 that'll be necessary. That's all. That's all I'm asking for here. Well, so, what is in hap what has been set up? Well, uh, are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what are able? Uh, so you can see that we have a, a site, and as I mentioned, to everybody, that once we have a site, I can start looking for sponsors. I know that you'll have your sponsors, but I'm also going to be approaching other colleges and universities to get for the Education and Healthcare Committee. This gives them. Uh, Steve, uh, Steve, we might need to be, for you to be muted. Is that possible? Yeah, I can do that. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, I love I love the sound of families during Saturday morning. It's just a very very cozy American sound. <laughs> so in any case, I have some of that my own, but I just shut the door. Any case, so this just helps me find sponsors, Bill. That's why I'm working so. What appears to be so much ahead, it's that I I we I know we, we might have an additional economic burden, and that depends upon us being successful in getting this committee. Uh, rolling. Well, what I'm trying to get wedged in here is that when Jim arrives in Vancouver and has a chance to meet up with um, Dweep Mola, he, the three of us, are to get together on a conference call. And we're going to go through that contract that Jim has taken with him. And that, that one of the things that can happen then is that I will ask Dalip, you know, the questions you're looking for answers to. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll be there with them also. Okay. So at the moment, I, 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 as I before you got here, Bill, I, I said that I, I needed IEEE to help a little bit more with the conference calling. And this, as you know, uh, last week, I believe it was, that it, it didn't work. There were some administrative problems, I think, on their end. So we fixed it. But unfortunately, our colleague who helped me last week get it set up, at least get us set up farther, he wasn't able to make it this weekend. And... I'm really going to be maxed out next weekend. 
I don't know if I told you guys, but we've got, uh, I'm host to, uh, you know, the work I've been doing in standards, but I've got the um, chairman and CEO of, uh, uh, of the American National Standards Institute as my guest at the University of Michigan, and we're hosting uh, a number of other people uh, around in these different schools. We're trying to explain to them uh, you know, standards, and um, he's, he's, you know, I've, I've had some success doing this. I, I have a website here that kind of explains what we've been doing over the years, and so, you know, we're getting a bit of a pat on the back here, and he's going to help us out. So this is, this is my excuse for not being able to do much for the next two weeks. But I believe also that I have to present. I have to present on Monday, this coming Monday, uh, and I wasn't aware that I had to put together a PowerPoint. So that's what I'm doing today to explain, um, to put a little, uh, put a little bit more flesh on what Jim wrote up here for this educational healthcare committee. And so, uh, so that's what I'll be doing with Jim largely. And of course, there's all the other stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting uh, maxed out here. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there was some follow-up. So, um, do we want to continue having Friday teleconferences? Uh, I'm having trouble getting. You know, you know, back here from what my duties that I have Friday mornings. Oh, Saturday, uh, Saturday's better? Time. Well, it seems some people are able to come yeah, on Friday. I, I don't mind doing Friday and Saturday. It's just I need some backup. Uh, that's why we're trying to get the IEEE WebEx so, so Steve and anybody else can use it and, and, and do a teleconference. And it, it, you know, actually, what IEEE wants to see is that there will be a recurring, they can set up a recurring teleconference, but an ad hoc one that you feel that you need, they, they, they struggle a little bit more, they want a little bit more planning. So in, in that sense, in the long run, my go to meeting function is, is available there for the use of anybody on an ad hoc meeting, but the regular meetings, which I, to me it still seems like there's a lot getting done. We, we've had um, but you know, it's just me. Again, Bill, I'm just focusing on making sure that we're going to have enough of a program uh, for for 2015 on this Education and Healthcare Committee, and uh, we'll, we will. I think by this time we'll be f fully able to roll it out. And because it's local, I can really put my shoulder into getting sponsors and more attendees from Detroit and Windsor, <coughs> Detroit and mm -hmm. Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike, I, I guess it'd be nice to have it once a week and excuse me. I think it's just that I want, if we can try again, I'm not going to be able to work with IEEE next Friday or next Saturday I'm, because I've, I've got to be a host. I've got to take this guy to the football game and all that stuff. But right. I think the next meeting would be, um, We'll skip a week if you want to start again on the 17th and 18th, then maybe that's what's necessary. But I, if, it's not, if people aren't able to do anything here, uh, then we can wait till here. And there might be some merit to that because, frankly, um, this week here is one of the busiest week of my life. Mm -hmm. and I, I personally think that's fine. I, no, I don't think this is going to hurt us to, to skip a week. Okay. So then we'll I mean, the biggest thing was getting the hotel... Uh, um, arrangements made, right? Well, and after that, it's the... They, they don't have a signed contract yet. That's the problem, is that we've got a 30-day clock that started ticking two weeks ago, which means uh, now we're looking at less than two weeks. It started, we have until the end of this month. Oh, okay, good. All right, so that's helpful. I don't know, do you think it's critical that we meet uh, this coming week on for that reason, or...? Well, it's actually Jim, Jim, and Jim and Bill. I think are, have got that. They can do it at their own time. But just the sort of okay. the, co the coordination, the coordination type uh, meetings where we all have a chance to talk. I don't. Maybe if it's okay with with you, Bill, we'll just assume you and Jim. That, that's that's the biggest 
part of all this. Uh, uh, you know, b before we get sponsors, of course, we have to have our location. So it just strikes me that the ball is, could be largely in Jim and Bill's court, and then we can meet again. Uh, we can meet meet again on the uh, the seventeenth, seventeenth and eighteenth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that you know, <laughs> one of the, one of the main decisions of any meeting is when you meet again, right? So. We'll get that on here. Uh, Bill, also, uh, I'll put that in here. So next meeting, next meeting, October 17th. Next meeting, that would be, uh, that'd be meeting 13 and 13 and a half. Uh, the 17th uh, will be October 17th and 18. Oops, 17 and 18. Okay. All right. So at that point, and so what I'll in between that time, I, I obviously I've got a lot to do with 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 this committee, but getting getting us set up so that oh, gee, where's our where's our I've lost our I've lost our site. Here we go. Getting the other details on this so that now this becomes a tool for getting sponsors. That would be the next step. At least for as far as what I'd hope that I could do, and on this, on this, um, uh, let's see, my, I'm losing, I'm losing myself in all of our links here. Um, on our, um, I'm going to have to go fetch it up again. Sorry, guys, I lost the link. Um, if we go to here again, getting papers pulled together. Oh, that's one other thing, Bill. I talked to Wai Zhen yesterday. And he said it's not absolutely necessary that everything be a paper. A poster presentation would be possible. A lot of guys who are very knowledgeable, um, and I'm, I'm guessing some people like, uh, for example, this guy here, uh, he may not be an IEEE paper writer type, but he knows his business. He knows the numbers. And doing a poster presentation, or even a, just a regular presentation, it's allowable from Wai Zhen's standpoint. Now, whether or not this is allowable from from uh, Peter uh, Sutherland's point of view, I, I put this list together for Peter because he says you no no papers, no conference, and so uh, I went to work making these nearly 28 uh, idea papers. So I'm out there trying to get people to write them, and I'll write a couple myself. Um, so that that's where I've been focusing, getting the, the content together, and some of that might even be. Uh, governed by the sponsors. Maybe sponsors want to prepare papers or even posters. So, in any case, I thought that that's covered. Why, Jen? The, a fuller discussion on that bill is in the uh, link. Uh, again, anything that I I said to what we got said, Bill, to by Wai Jen and I yesterday on that issue is here available for your listening pleasure. Uh, it was just a 20-minute call, so. Anything else? Um, well, I have a question for Steve. Um, yeah, go ahead. Hello. Okay. Um, if I if, had you gotten my email about a week ago that said, um, you know, I would like to uh, see if I can get a commitment from ETAP. Yeah, I did uh, see that, Bill. Yeah. To put on something like that. Do you think, uh, I mean, what's going on at GM right now? Is it yeah. likely well, that you, know what? Uh, yeah. you could bring plant people in to, if we put on a, a workings, you know, a some kind of a, a workshop or something like that. Well, you know, I talked to uh, Bill Harris about that, and he's thinking that because, you know, we have ETAP internal, if you know, Bill, the issue is mm -hmm. we got one or two seats, and the only guy that might be, that's been involved in it, that would uh, probably really want to go is um, um, Tim Hoxie from Lansing Delta Township and Lansing Grand River. He's an FME there. 
Um, personally, I would like to go because I don't know much about it. I think Wayne could probably, would probably want to go. Whether we can get the okay from our boss or not is another question, but I would think we would. Um, but I guess the number would be rather limited because you know we don't have a lot of seats in house, and people are busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I I can't guarantee a lot. No, we have as you know we require all our studies to be done in ETAP, so our A partners all have ETAP. Yeah. Um, but um, I don't know if they would be sending people or not. You know, I I can't say that, but um, I'm guessing that some of them would. Depends well, how much I um, guess is covered too. It, it, are are your plants all up to date right now on anything and everything like the arm flashes <laughs> and everything? To where you do not, or or do you have any ongoing uh, contracts yet for people like uh, Orion and others who are um, you know doing programs for you? I guess I'm wondering yeah. like we could get Orion or something like that to send one or two of their engineers to, you know, to yeah. get refreshers or something. Yeah, but about, are there more than Orion, that, you know, locally here? Or? It's, uh, you know, Orion, Solaris, I think, is approved. There's there's like six or seven approved. In terms of how many, we got a lot of active projects right now that each require um, updates on their short circuit coordination studies. Okay. Um, in terms of all the plants, most of them, except for ones in Mexico, have ETAP uh, models. We did Tuluca, um last year, so that's an ETAP now, but Ramos and uh, SLP, um, I think, still need to have theirs um, done in ETAP. So there's a, there's a mix of things, but it, the vast majority do have ETAP now, at least yep. in the North America. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So uh, I wish I could give you a clearer answer, and I did also. Well, uh, no, that gives me some ideas. Uh, you know, I had, until we started the discussion, I hadn't thought about tapping uh, Ryan and or Solaris, but both of them are people who, you know, are valid ones to send people to this meeting. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that there would be. A fair amount of interest. I know that on our AE partner side, the Giffels has, or IBI has ETAP, uh, Gafari has ETAP, SSOE. Mm -hmm. I think SSOE has ETAP. Um, no. I know at least IBI and Gafari for sure have it. Okay. So they're both local. Mm hmm. Okay. So I, so I would think that ETAP. <clears throat> go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Previous times, you know, when we had the Detroit thing, we put on uh, a tutorial on Thursday that brings, that helps us with the um, room count, uh, right. you know, um, by having people on, more people Wednesday night. Um, so the theme could be that we have something like that uh, would be, uh, we do arc flash, uh, you know, analysis or something like that for four people. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so I will bring that up with uh, the fellows tomorrow or whenever I hear from Jim and Delete and okay. yourself, Mike. Yeah, and the other thing too, uh, uh, Bill, I did send an email to my boss on the 20th of September, asking him about. The GM, you know, offer some rooms during a conference, oh, and okay. I haven't heard back. I'm going to have to, um, you know, nudge him a little bit. It sounds like yeah. I just looked at my email and I didn't see anything back from him on that issue. Yeah. So, I think it's a possibility, but I don't know the security and stuff like that would be the only issue. So I'd have to, yeah. mm -hmm. have to find out. But okay, yeah. So I got all of the questions I need answered for the day here today, and what? I think that's what you were trying to get, uh, uh, that's an answer to your last question, Mike. Tutorials, so in, in the past, uh, is it ETAP uh, is the one, are there any other organizations that would give tutorials? Mm. Well, there's a you know a lot of times uh, the um, 
the protection committee will uh, provide, like at this conference in uh, Vancouver, Rashid is going to be uh, doing a, a tutorial, I believe. Um, or maybe we could get the safety workshops people to, to do something on Thursday. That's always of uh, major interest. And, you know, at, for a safety workshop, I could probably get more GM people to it because uh, safety has been a driving, um, mm -hmm. you know, driving issue. And uh, the, the guys at the plants always are looking for um, training and support for, this, for such things. So yeah. that's a good idea. Um, <clears throat> though I think that I think I could get a lot of GM people on that. And, you know, Ford has a lot of plants yeah, here, I, too. And I, I could charge up. Uh, people at uh, Detroit Edison with that same issue too, yep. to where they would bring uh, industrial customers in. Yeah, I, I think that's a real good one, uh, Bill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just added, uh, this is our planning website by the way, it's not the one that, uh, it's not the customer facing one, it's not this one, but at some point when things get firm about, when things get firm about who would be giving part? I just made a few notes here, and obviously this is recorded, so others who are interested in seeing what went back and forth. I couldn't do all the, I couldn't keep up with you guys with my typing, and I think typing sometimes shows up in the video recording anyway and annoys people. So if there's more information about that, it then helps. Again, it supports the marketing tool that we need. Uh, yeah. That, that 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 we need to put on this here. So at some point, right. I'd like to start. I, for example, ideally, we would just start, um, I would have tutorials here, and we start having a schedule. Now, that's another thing we have to talk about. What you're, what you're seeing here is I just took, I just took the last conference, and I used the, the time slots as a template. My hope is that somebody else can start helping uh, at least deal with the, um, you know, more of the specifics of what's going on in the time slot. So, uh, yeah. I don't know who that who 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 put this together, but it'd be nice to have that person do it again for us. It looks like so. These are all the the committee and working group schedules. So it looks like those yeah. go on the first two days or so. Yes, the local committee does that. So you got the framework, and we just have to you know when the time comes, um, coordinate with the different committees and try and try to make sure we don't have a lot of conflicts between. You know, okay. things where major players are involved. You know what I mean? Okay. So we'll be ready to after the Calgary conference. I, I'm thinking we'll be we'll be ready to launch on this again. You know, I'm mindful that there's you know five months away. At least in the my universe, five months is not very long. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> given how slow we move. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so here's the technical yeah. paper, but I think it's, again, getting back to the marketing, the, the long lead time are, uh, item for me is the papers. I believe you need, paper writers need a year to a year and a half to, to, to pull it together. That's why as soon as we can get information about when it's going to happen. Oh, there's another thing too. I did talk to Giuseppe about uh, piping in some of his students from the University of Rome. So I just thought, you know, I have a separate thing going on with Giuseppe about how you, at the very least, U of M could work a little more close to the University of Rome. So, um, hmm. uh, so he's definitely, so is he, a, well, I assume he is now aware that uh, 16 will not be in Rome. Right, he knows that. He knows that. But I said, well, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, so what does it cost to do a 2017 in Rome? What, what does that mean? It's, we, we, it's probably another $1,000 on a plane ticket. The hotels in Italy in general are very cheap for extremely good common. common so any, anything, it would be a five-star, you can get there, you can get a very good hotel for $75 no more than a hundred so you save money there it's just the plane trip it's the passport issue all that stuff that you have to deal with so we know that not everybody would be able to do something well what does it really cost so I said I help them out to see what that would cost and I, whether it happens there or not I don't know mm -hmm. I do know that uh, my work here with the business school at U of M has made and I, I'll be working with people globally when we put our conference together we aren't we're, we're going to have people coming from all over the world, but we'll also be broadcasting to other parts of the world, and that'll bring the, the multinationals in. 
because they're interested in, uh, in in the talent in the market. So that's a larger, mm -hmm. larger, different discussion. So I guess I'd visualize. I don't see any reversal. You know, as surely as you and I, the three of us, are talking here today, uh, I'm almost all. I spend no more, no fewer than four hours per day dealing with people out of my time zone, and we're getting a lot of good work done. So that's mm -hmm. just the way the world is coming, to, speeding toward us. So. All right. I would say my experience is about the same. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, four hours a day, but at least every day dealing with somebody out of time zone. Yeah. So this tutorial thing is, is, is an important marketing thing. So at the moment, guys, frankly, I have to focus on getting, um, getting this E&H committee together. And my expectation, expectation is that we will be able to, to launch a little bit better during the Calgary meeting for the ICPNS, but that we fully roll it out we fully roll it out at our uh, at, at this one here because mm -hmm. I, it's just I have the relationships locally. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay then. So there'll be a lot of fallout from the meetings uh, next week, and I guess uh, then we'll meet formally again here on October seventeenth. Well, I'll meet here and, and we'll, we'll have all kinds of stuff to tell, I suppose. Yep. Yeah. yeah? Sounds good. All right. Well, I guess we're we're done for today, then, uh, Mike. It's up to Bill. Any more you want Bill? to? I'm I'm happy. I'm complete. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll put this up on the internet okay. here in the next couple of minutes. Take care. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Right. Have, Have a good, good weekend. Bye. Bye.